Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here, and this is part three of my hypothesis test for one step of proportion. In this video, though, I'm just going to show you using a TI Inspire. So, how do we do this in the TI Inspire? There's a really nice function um, that lets us do it, and then in my class, I'm going to also show you how to look and analyze the uh, output of a computer program or computer software using um, using these hypothesis tests. So. Uh, right now, we'll look at the TI Inspire because that's what you get to use on the AP exam. So, um, Fat City Part 3. So, we're going to take a look at our problem. So, this is the problem from the last two videos. Um, suppose we take a RAM sample of 1,000 residents of Mission, Texas, who happens to be called the fattest city in America. Um, and if you're from Mission, Texas, I'm sorry. This was information that I got online. Um, according to the study, 38.5% of those in uh, Mission, Texas are overweight. Is there evidence that Mission, Texas obesity issue is significantly larger than the national average? Now, yet yeah, now on the last video, um, I did the entire hypothesis test. So if you uh, if you want to go watch the last video, um, I'll see if I can get a, a little click here that you can go watch the whole video and I show you how to do all this work, um, or just go and subscribe to me on YouTube or look on my uh, on my page there and you'll see uh, part two of this. So I put in my hypothesis and my conditions. This is going to be the same whether you not or do you do it on the calculator um, and so is your conclusion what's going to be different is your mechanics so you get to basically check your work now if you are going to do this for the AP exam then I would really really suggest that you make sure you know if you really want to use the calculator to do let the calculator do a lot of this work I'd really make sure that you use the Z score you at least show your calculation for Z and then you at least show your p-value. But really, if you really want to get the best grade possible on that AP exam, this is the work you really need to show. The Using the calculator is just really going to check your work, or it's going to help you on the multiple choice, where you can do it really, really quick. Okay, and then your conclusion obviously is going to stay the same. So let's go ahead and show you how to do this. Now, one thing you're going to want to do for the calculator anyway is you're going to want to make sure that you know your number of successes in your sample. So let me go ahead and calculate that real quick. Now, uh, back, well, what was that? Okay, so back here, we have a 38.5%. It doesn't tell us how many. It just tells 38.5% of my sample. So I wanna know how many of these people there were. So I'm just gonna take 0.385 and multiply it by 1,000. And this is the number of overweight people that we had in our in our sample so we're gonna use that okay just remember we're gonna use that this is not p hat this is an X in the in the calculator so let's take a look at what we're gonna do here go back here we're gonna take our calculator and we're gonna go to menu statistics so right here six stat tests and we've got all of these stat statistical tests that we can do in our calculator which is a lot of them Actually, most of them, all of them that you do in in AP in AP stats are in here, and some of them that you do in other statistics courses in college. So let's go and do the one prop Z test. That's what we're doing. We're doing a one proportion Z test, and we need first we need the null hypothesis. So the proportion for the null hypothesis P is going to be 0.357. So we're going to go ahead and enter that in there. Uh, tab. Next, X is the number of successes. Now, we just calculated that in the previous page. So that was, I believe it was 385. Let's just check real quick. 385, all right. So we got 385, and our N was 1,000. We had 1,000 people in our sample. All right, so now we're gonna do our alternate hypothesis, and that's gonna be greater than. So we're gonna hold prop greater than piece of zero. So we're gonna hit okay. And here we go. We've got all our cool information here. And let's just check what we got here. We've got a Z value of 1.848. So we're really close on that. And it's probably just a rounding error. Um, I, I probably, you know, I did this and then rounded off here and put that as my standard deviation. The calculator does it all at once. This is a little bit more precise. And then our P value is 0 0.0322. So it's pretty much what we got here. So we can use this information to get our conclusion because we have our p-value. So just like I said, the, uh, what's in our, our calculator is basically going to help us with our mechanics. 
everything else stays the same. So again, if you want to look at uh, how I came up with the hypothesis, the conditions, and the conclusion, go back to my previous video, and uh, and that's it. All right. So that's how you use the TI Inspire to uh, do a one-prop Z test. Catch you guys later. Bye bye.